Row spacing is important from an agronomic perspective for a variety of reasons. Uh, when we look to compare narrow row spacing versus wide row spacing, take the example of seeding. With narrow row spacing, you have more shanks, which means more draft and more energy and maintenance on that piece of equipment. On top of that, with narrow row spacing, you're more likely to have residue clearance issues, especially in areas with high amounts of residue due to high rainfall and higher organic matter. And when you get into scenarios like that, you're more likely to have emergence and plant stand issues. So wider row spacing has its own challenges. With wider row spacing, we're more likely to see issues around seed bed utilization. So we're putting the same amount of seed and the same amount of fertilizer into less rows. So we're more likely to see issues around fertilizer toxicity and inter-row competition leading to plant stand issues. Uh, wider row spacing also has issues beyond seeding. So we're leaving more area for weeds to grow, so we're more likely to see weed competition. And we're also more likely to see potential of lodging in those lodging prone areas. And on top of that, it's going to lead to potentially lower yields. So narrow row spacing may be beneficial for producers who are looking to get better canopy closure earlier on in the season, which is gonna to lead to more sunlight capture, better weed competition, uh, and potentially better yield stability out of that crop. So there's a few pros and cons of wider row spacing, and actually producers who switched to no-till uh, a while ago um, actually switched to wider row spacing for better re residue management because it helped them manage residue and get better residue clearance around seeding. Um, but the issues with that is when we get wider row spacing, we end up leaving more opportunity for weed competition and we're capturing less sunlight. And there is a, a potential yield loss factor that may come from having wider row spacing. So there hasn't been a ton of research done on row spacing recently. Uh, the most recent research that was done was by Dr. Bill May uh, at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Indian Head, Saskatchewan. Uh, and this was only done in four site years between 2013 and 2016, so very limited research. So it can't be extrapolated to all parts of Alberta and Western Canada. But what they did is they looked at row spacing of 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 and 16 inches. And what they found is of three of the four years, there wasn't a huge impact on yield, but in one of those years, 2013 was a very dry year. And that led to any row spacing greater than 12 inch being lower yield than 12 inch or lower row spacing. Uh, my name's Wade McAllister and we're just outside of Innisfil, just south of the main farm, um, Antler Valley Farm. We were at a plot to farm trial this year. Um, between uh, looking at the difference between row spacing and wheat. So we're at seven and a half inches and next to 15 inches. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, the crops that we grow today uh, were zero till, been zero till for the last oh, almost 20 years, I guess now. And uh, it's just the, the straw management has just been a struggle. Um, just having that even germination. And uh, so I saw this drill a couple years ago and uh, it really interests me on just the, the trash that they were going through. And so uh, I bit the bullet and, and gonna try it out.